Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the secret room that's hidden deep on a mission oracle. So, this room, it's actually hidden pretty far out of the map. And it's it's easier to find uh, towards the end of the mission during the boss fight against the heretic leader. Uh, it, technically, it actually spawns. It, it's there, loaded in on most parts of the mission. Some parts, not really. But it, it's there for most of the mission. It's also there on the mission Arbiter. But it's easier to find at this last part of the mission. It's right behind the room where you fight the heretic leader. You know, behind the elevator shaft area. And to get to the room, we have to use mods to basically fly outside of the room and clip out there. And if we keep going out, you could see in the distance there's a little uh, black cube, it seems, in the distance. That black cube down there is, in fact, the secret room that we are talking about for this video. It, uh, it's not a huge area. It's just a tiny little uh, room, actually. But it's actually there in the... Um, this is actually the very center of the map. If you could see the coordinates, it's actually located at like zero. It's X, Y, Z coordinates are all zero. It's, you know, literally the center of the world in this case. But yeah, so th that's what it looks like. Now, you may be thinking you are looking at a, you know, solid black cube. But it's actually not solid black on the outside. It's actually see-through. And you're seeing the solid black from the inside, meaning it's really dark inside, which you'll see soon. But it is a solid cube nonetheless. Even though it's see-through from the outside, it is still solid. Uh, it's just, you know, you, know, it, you, just, you just can't uh, phase through it, but it is just see-through. So let's go inside now and see what it looks like on the inside, which, you know, obviously it's very dark inside. You can't see a thing at all, but it is solid inside and you can't see outside either from the inside. So, to light things up, I did a little makeshift plasma grenade uh, flare, or lantern really, where I made the plasma grenade, uh, first of all, it lasts like for a very long time, and I also made the glowing part of the plasma grenade last for a very long time as well, and made it uh, really bright as well. So, it should uh, it's perfect enough to light up the entire room so that we can have a good look around. So, as you can see, it is an empty room. Uh, the walls and everything, the floor, they do have their own uh, individual textures and stuff like that. Now, these burn marks on the wall, I don't think they were originally there. I think those were from my earlier experiments before I recorded this video, uh, from like a previous checkpoint. I guess for whatever reason, it didn't reset the uh, burn marks in the room. Because I was tossing like a bunch of plasma grenades around before I created this um, flare plasma grenade. But anyways, it's an empty room, but... What is its purpose, you may be wondering. Is it just some random useless room that was put there as like a placeholder or something as like a test object? Well, to find out, we're going to go on the OG Xbox version and fly out there during the cutscene. This is the cutscene where Arbiter uh, encounters the Heretic Leader before the whole fight and everything. And we're going to let the cutscene play in a second and watch what happens with the room as we go. So, the room may look like it's empty but it's actually an invisible scenery object inside a room called a cinematic anchor. And that is a very important object that's used during cinematics in Halo 2, especially uh, this particular one is used a lot. Which, as you just saw there, Guilty Spark spawned in the room for a split second and then disappeared again. That is because cinematic objects in Halo 2 are more or less used as like a sort of spawn point for objects during cutscenes. Uh, a lot of objects are spawned on top of the uh, cinematic anchor, and then quickly teleport it to where they're needed in the cutscene. It's it's just you know I'm not sure like why that technique is you know better than just directly spawning the object where they sh where it should be in the cutscene, but that's basically what the anchor is used for in this case. Uh, a lot of objects just spawn on it, and like I said, this particular anchor is very important because over half of the game's cinematic objects during cutscenes actually spawn on it. There are other anchors throughout the mission, but this one has the most objects that spawn on it, including you know the Heretic Leader's holograms, his holodrones, which uh, here you can see his holograms briefly spawning there, and then quickly teleporting to where they're needed in the cutscene. So that is the first cutscene we can take a look at. There are other cutscenes that use this cinematic anchor, but like I said, this part of the mission is just the easiest to reach or to find the uh, 
that little secret room there where the cinematic anchor is. The anchor itself, like I said, it, it is invisible and it's intangible too, it, but it's there. You just can't see it or, or touch it. But, you know, it's a... Um, if you use like tools like entity or something to actually view like the the map and all the spawn points and everything uh, I believe the cinematic anchor actually shows up as like a triangle or s something like that but anyways let's take a look at this the, the last cutscene and see what else can spawn in this room so let's fly back out there again and let's get closer this time I'm gonna stay a little bit back because the only there's only one thing that I, you can actually see spawn in this room this time around uh, and that is the phantom actually everything else seems to spawn at different anchor points in this cutscene but anyways there it is that was the uh, phantom let's play in slow motion there so you can see it and yeah that's basically it that is the secret room hidden on the mission oracle and it's also on the mission the arbiter as well for the same purpose uh, and the purpose of the room is you know to use to house the uh, cinematic anchor point which I don't know why it needs a specific room for but that's just what Bungie did, and it's used to spawn as a spawn location for objects during cutscenes. But yeah, so hopefully you guys did find this to be interesting. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like, leave your thoughts and comments, let me know if there's anything else I'm going to check out or look into. And other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!